In this video, we are going to convert or transform uh, an equation in general form to standard form. Now, why do we need this? Why do we need to do this? Well, it's because you might be given an equation in general form and then you will be asked to sketch the graph of that equation. And if that equation is in general form, then it will not be easy to sketch the graph. Okay, so let's have an example. So let's say you are given an equation of this form. Okay. y squared plus 12x minus 10y minus 47 equals 0. Okay. So the first thing that we uh, are going to do is we will rearrange the terms in such a way that the variable that is being squared stays on the left side and all other stuff goes to the right. Okay, so we want that the variable that being squared stays on the left side. So the variable that is being squared here in this case is y. So we want all the y's to stay on the left. Okay, so that will be that will be y squared and then you have here minus 10y equals all the other stuff goes to the right. So the positive 12x becomes minus 12x and the minus 47 becomes plus 47. Okay, now the next step is we are going to find a perfect square trinomial. So what we want is that the left hand side becomes y minus k squared. And what we want on the right hand side is that for it to become 4p times x minus h. So that's what we want. That's the standard form of a parabola. Okay, so we need a perfect square trinomial. In other words, we want to add, we want to add some value, some value that will make this a perfect square trinomial. And then on the right hand side, we're going to add, so whatever we added here, we're also going to add that number here to maintain the equality of the equation. Okay, so again, just like with a circle, we are going to square this number here. And it doesn't matter if it's negative or positive because when you square uh, a negative or a positive, the, uh, the answer is always positive. So we're going to square that number. So that will be, that will be 10 squared. So that will be 10 squared over four. As usual, the denominator is four. So that gives us 100 over 4, and that is equal to 25. So we're going to add 25 here, and then also a 25 there. Okay, so let me erase this thing. Now we know that this is now a perfect square trinomial. In fact, we can write that as y minus 5 squared. Okay, so if you have time, then you check that one out. Confirm that these two things are just the same. Okay. Equals minus 12x plus 47 plus 25. So that gives us 72. Okay. So that gives us 72. So it's plus 72. Okay. Now again, what we want is some something like this on the right hand side. Okay. So the next thing that we want to do is we want to factor out the 12 in the right-hand side because we want to have this one right here, 4p times x minus h. Okay, so we factor, so we know that this is equal to minus 12x plus, 12 is actually a factor of 72, so that's 12 times, what is 72? 72 is 12 times, 12 times 6. Okay, so 72 is 12 times 6, so we can factor out the 12. That becomes minus 12 times x. We factored out the negative 12. And then minus, minus 6. Okay, minus 6. Why minus 6? Minus 6 because the we, we factored out the negative. Okay, so basically, basically, if we do it again, if we distribute 12, so we have negative 12 times x is negative 12x, negative 12 times negative 6, that would be positive 72. Okay, so that's the factor. Let me just write 
down the left hand side. So that is now my standard form.